Good afternoon. I am Colonel Billy Wilson, the commander of basic military training. I'm glad we had this opportunity to uh, have a discussion. So, why are you here? I will tell you that you are here to train both your body and your mind. Be better every day. Be better. You are here to train your body and your mind. Not one or the other, both. I often ask new recruits, why the Air Force? And I often get, well, I want to be part of an institution. I want to be part of something that is larger than myself. Remember why you are here. Remember those people that came before you. Everything that you do needs to come with a passion and a vigor that is unmatched. There will be stress. It will be stressful. And I will tell you that it is stressful by design. So the question remains, when you start feeling stressed out, what are you going to do? Are you going to react? Or are you going to respond? I expect you to respond to the demands that are being placed upon you, pushing you out of your comfort zone, forcing you to grow, because that's why you're here. You're here to be transformed from what you were to what you need to be, to what your nation needs you to be. Each and every one of you will earn your place here. This will not be given to you. And as you earn your place here and head toward graduation day, having earned it, you will have a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. And it will be meaningful to you. And as you depart this place, you will be proud of what you've accomplished. At this time, please find a place to sit. Thank you and enjoy today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, rendering a flying salute to our graduating airmen are two T1 Alpha Jayhawks, call sign Tone 41 Flight. Tone 41 is flown by Captain John Smith and Captain Ethan Deere. Tone 42 is flown by Captain Sean Fernando and Captain Jacob Carley. These aircraft are from the 86th Flying Training Squadron, 47th Flying Training Wing, Laughlin Air Force Base, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of, of our official party. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Davenport. Let us pray. Name above all names, you are great and worthy to be praised on this day and every day. 
for knitting us in our mother's wombs and breathing into us the breath of life. By your sovereign handiwork across the eons of time, each of these airmen before us today, rank and file, were born for such a time as this. Born for something bigger than themselves. Born to defend a document of freedom, not swear allegiance to a tyrant. Born to secure perimeters, load cargo on planes, process personnel actions and financing, generate contracts, unclog drains, change out locks, seal leaky roofs, pave landing strips and dig ditches and lay pipes, extinguish fires and ready families for deployment, fix and refuel and lubricate engines, dispose ordinances, and if necessary, swiftly kick in doors when needed. All so that we may dominate the air and space and fly and fight and win our nation's wars. And they do so with a selfless heart and a willing and able spirit. And now, Lord, we thank you for all the parents and loved ones here today for loaning us America's finest sons and daughters. For if it wasn't for them, our all-volunteer force wouldn't exist. As these airmen graduate today, may your spirit go with them throughout their careers. Keep their bodies, minds, and souls resilient so that they may rise to the occasion when their nation calls them to do what they were born to do at this moment in their lives. This I pray in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Please be seated. Good morning, and welcome to today's basic military training graduation ceremony. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests beginning with the host for today's ceremony. The Commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Colonel Billy Wilson, Jr. <laughs> Representing the Senior Enlisted Leader, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Demarcus Orme. The reviewing official, the commander, United States Air Force Expeditionary Center, Major General John Klein, Jr. <laughs> the command chief, United States Air Force Expeditionary Center, Chief Master Sergeant Courtney Freeman. <laughs> also in attendance with us today, the mobilization assistant, the Commander, United States Air Force Expeditionary Center, Brigadier General Mike Modin. <laughs> the Deputy Commander, 37th Training Wing, Colonel John O'Dell III. <laughs> Although time does not permit us to introduce all our distinguished guests, the 7th 37th Training Group is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony. Our Commander of Airmen is Technical Sergeant Austin Gray. Major General John Klein Jr. will review today's ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Sir, the parade is formed. Take your post. Send your squadron. Over the last seven and a half weeks, the men and women before you have transformed from civilians into motivated, disciplined warriors with a foundation to serve in the most powerful military the world has ever known. Once they leave basic military training, they will continue on to technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in one of 118 specialties. They will then move on to serve at one of the 84 installations around the globe or work directly with our sister services. As they move on to technical training, they will continue to focus on adapting to military requirements, achieving occupational proficiency, and learning how to be highly productive members of the armed forces. These men and women will prepare for increased responsibilities and must ensure they are trained, qualified, and ready to deploy and operate in an expeditionary environment. These graduates are the future of our national defense and will pave the way for the generations that will follow.
737th Training Group, United States Air Force, Joint Base, San Antonio, Blackland, Texas. Subject, Commander's Excellence. The Commander's Excellence streamer is awarded to the 320th Training Squadron Flight 276 for their significant accomplishments demonstrating teamwork, excellence, and esprit de corps. During the period of 26 February 2024 to 11 April 2024, signed, Billy Wilson Jr., Colonel, United States Air Force. The Commander's Excellence Flight was led by Technical Sergeant Joshua Swanson and Technical Sergeant Jacob Herzig. Of the hundreds of thousands of American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States military. The graduates before you have reached a milestone in their military journey and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of musical honors. Please be seated. Graduates passing in review today representing a portion of the 35,000 men and women who will complete basic military training this year. The 737th Training Group provides all recruits the essential military training to become motivated members of the world's greatest Air Force. The military training instructors are responsible for the indoctrination, development, and discipline of the airmen. They have dedicated endless hours to ensure all training objectives are met. Today's graduates have proven through academic studies, military training, physical training, and the development of teamwork that they are ready to take their place in the United States Armed Forces.
As our graduates turn left onto the bomb run to pass and review, they will march over the enlisted heroes walk. The men and women recognized on the pavers have been awarded our nation's highest honors, representing heroic and unselfish actions as members of the United States military in armed conflict. Their decorations include nine medals of honor, 23 Air Force crosses, and 162 silver stars awarded for bravery during encounters with hostile enemy combatants. These enlisted heroes serve to inspire all service members to execute their duties courageously and with honor in their service to this great nation. We would like to direct your attention to our national, state, and territorial flags. As these flags pass in review, please stand and render the appropriate courtesies for our national flag. As a reminder, military members and veterans in uniform will stand at attention and render a salute. We ask that our civilian guests stand and place their right hand over their heart. Veterans and military members not in uniform may either render a salute or place their right hand over their heart. Once the flags have passed, please be courteous of others and be seated in order to allow all our guests the opportunity to view the flights as they pass in review. Now passing in review from the 321st Training Squadron, the Commander of Air, Technical Sergeant Austin Gregg, Military Training Instructor Trainer, Hometown Hi. Chatham, Illinois. Hi. From the 320th Training Squadron, the A Squadron Staff, led by Technical Sergeant Anthony Hayes, Military Hi. Training Instructor, Hometown Hi. Austin, Texas. Flight 273, led Hi. by Staff Sergeant Brandon Spacer, Hi. Military Hi. Training Instructor, Hometown Grand Junction, Colorado. Academic Excellence Flight, Flight 274, led by Technical Sergeant No Puente, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Hereford, Texas. Flight 275, led by Master Sergeant Nick Niles. Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Oneida, New York. <laughs> Commander's Excellence Flight, Flight 276, led by Tangle Sergeant Joshua Swanson. Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Burlington, Washington. <laughs> From the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 277, led by Technical Short, Ori Wood, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Colorado Springs, Hi. Colorado. Hi. Flight 278, led by Staff Sergeant Antonio Pino, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, El Paso, Texas. Training Squadron, Flight 279, led by Staff Sergeant Joshua Aguiar, Military Training Instructor, Town, uh, Long Beach, California. Hey. From the 331st Training Squadron, the Color Guard, led by Technical Sergeant Jacob Bergen, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, and Lawton, Iowa. Uh. From the 326 Training Squadron, Flight 281 and 282, led by Technical Sergeant Charles Sturt, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh. Hey. From the 321st 
331st Training Squadron, the B Squadron staff, led by Master Sergeant Richard Jackson, military training instructor, hometown Savannah, Georgia. Flight 280, led by Master Sergeant Jessica Contreras, military training instructor, hometown San Antonio, Texas. Flight 283, led by Staff Sergeant Nicholas Steady, military training instructor, trainer, hometown, Hellville, Illinois. Flight 284, led by Technical Sergeant Margaret C. Gunco, military training instructor, hometown, Benicia, California. Squadron, Flight 285, led by Technical Sergeant Roger Shaw, military training instructor, hometown, Chicago, Illinois. Oh. Hey. Flight 286, led by Technical Sergeant Casey Clement, military training instructor, hometown, St. Petersburg, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing and singing of the United States Air Force song. Thank you, you may be seated. Musical support for this ceremony has been provided by the airmen from the 321st Training Squadron, performing under the direction of Staff Sergeant Jacob Wright, military training instructor, hometown, Bono, Texas. These individuals have been hand-selected to perform for today's ceremony. In addition to completing all basic training syllabus and training requirements, Drum and Bugle Corps members commit additional training hours for practice throughout their weeks of training. Their extra effort and commitment demonstrate teamwork and the Air Force's core values of service before self. With each drum and bugle corps performance, they honor the long-standing tradition of live music at formal military ceremonies.
like to take a moment to congratulate all of our honor graduates as well as their families. Basic military training honor graduates distinguish themselves by being ranked in the top 10% of all graduates in their class. The exceptional personal dedication, integrity, service before self, and sustained excellence they display throughout basic military training earn them this outstanding distinction. As the flights march forward for the oath of enlistment, we would like to thank you all, families, and friends who are here to support of those graduating today. For your support to our mission and the greatest air power the world has ever known. Your words of encouragement has helped motivate these graduates through seven and a half weeks of basic military training. Ladies and gentlemen, Major General John Klein Jr. will now come forward and address our graduating class. Well, good morning and welcome everyone. Congratulations to our graduates. What an honor to look out into the audience today and see all the families that are joining us here today. Seven and a half weeks ago, you entrusted us with our nation's most valuable treasure, your loved ones. Your support has pushed these airmen to successfully complete basic military training and join the world greatest Air Force. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for your support and encouragement. And more importantly, thank you for your trust. We are proud of your airmen. We should be incredibly, incredibly proud of your airmen as well. It is my great honor to introduce the 591 BMP graduates as our nation's newest airmen. Today is a day to celebrate, and you should. You've all earned it. I would be remiss, though, if I didn't tell you that the path you have chosen to walk will at times be hard. Let me share with you something that was shared with me about 34 years ago as I was entering officer training. 
I was told that the Air Force life is a hard life, but it's a good life. I'll say that again. The Air Force life is a good life. It's a hard life, but it's a good life. It will be full of challenges and hardships, but that is exactly why our country needs you. Our country has known ever-increasing prosperity, precisely because airmen like you, standing alongside our other services, have been willing to do the hard things our nation has asked of them. I ask that you embrace these hardships, embrace these challenges. They will define our legacy as a force and will be the building blocks on which the future of our force and nation will thrive. Our Air Force's newest Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Chief Master Sergeant Dave Flossie, said this. He said, make every day count. He continues and says, embrace the change. This is a time of consequence. And if everyone in our command can find a way to acknowledge the good in every day, in every opportunity, we can successfully move in the right direction to meet the needs of today's great power competition. I cannot agree more with Chief Flossie. So, how will you show up every day? Lastly, and most important, you own the future. This is your Air Force now. Those who've gone before you have laid the foundation. The actions that you take every day will create the path for others to follow and for what our Air Force is to become. The one thing I know about the future is that it is unknown. Our country's prosperity, prosperity is not guaranteed and our children, grandchildren, and future generations depend on what you do. So I offer you this, step boldly into the future with full knowledge that you have begun one of the, one of the most incredible journeys of your life. You are part of a profession with a noble calling. You live by values of integrity, service, and excellence. Remember these things, live by these things, and your future will be bright. So, what future are you going to create? Our Air Force is past, its present, and future are now in your hands. So, I have this one question for you. Are you prepared to join the ranks of the world's greatest Air Force? Colonel Wilson, I think they're ready. Please stand as General Klein will now administer the oath of enlistment. Instructors, place your flights at attention. Now, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, General Klein. Please remain standing while our graduates recite the Airmen's Creed and for the departure of the official party. I am an American Airman. I am a warrior. I have answered my nation's call. I am an American Airman. My mission is to fly, fly, and pray. I am faithful to a proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. I am an American Airman. Glory to freedom and justice. My nation's sword and shield. In the century and adventure, I will defend my country with my life. I am an American Airman. Wingman, leader, warrior, I will never 
As a reminder, military members and veterans in uniform will stand at attention and render a salute as the U.S. flags pass. We ask that our civilian guests stand and place their right hand over their heart. Veterans and military members not in uniform may either render a salute or place their right hand over their heart. Once the flags have passed, please be courteous of others and be seated in order to allow all guests the opportunity to view the flights as they pass. As a reminder, the flights are positioned as viewed from the bleachers to the left of the reviewing stand, flights 273, 274, 275, 276, 277, 278, 279. And to the right of the reviewing stand, flights 280, 283, 284, 285, 286. Please remain in your seating area. The graduates will be dismissed momentarily. Count pass ends at 1800 hours. When dropping off members, please stay in your vehicle. Family members are not authorized to enter any training area.